Thank you. Honorable Minister of State Education. Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, quickly, I would like to um, give a few overview of what we are doing at the Ministry of Education in relation to how we perceive students should be working at this time. Um, as you are aware, we've announced that WAEC and NECO for the year has been postponed. This postponement is indefinite at the moment, and until as soon as we arrive at a definite time, we will recommunicate that. We will also uh, be looking at what we will do in order for schools to reopen. As you recall, we had asked that schools vacate in the late part of March, as soon as uh, this broke. Now, it will be a coordinated effort along all the states because um, the lockdown in various parts will definitely affect uh, how students go to school or not, or how teachers come to school or not. So it goes without saying that nobody can reopen school now except we coordinate all of that effort. We are also asking parents not to uh, to just put all, all, all parents to please help us. At the point where we are now, we are asking that students can learn online. We've made a lot of provisions for that. At the Ministry of Education, the, Ministry, the Directorate of uh, ICT has opened a portal. And in conjunction with UBEC, UBEC as a coordinating agency, the Malama Damadamu, the Minister of Education, as well as the PAMSEC and all the operators in the ministry, agreed that UBEC will anchor an alliance with all the suburbs in all the states that we fund. And they all would then buy into a programming note. Right now, what has happened is that about 14 or 15 states have already commenced learning via different channels that are available in their states mostly radio and local TV. What they are running is an approved NERDC curriculum. Everything that we said we will learn, what our teachers need to do. That is ongoing at the moment. Not all the states have um, started the program, but many states, Anambra, Lagos, uh, a few states, about 14 of them. Uh, this list of them are attached here. And the programming times for different uh, ones are. We are also working with uh, the Ministry of Information through NTA and Federal Radio Corporation to then escalate what they normally have as their education content provision so that they can then provide for everybody. They're still working on that. That's an ongoing program. We believe that um, those who are in private primary, secondary schools already are doing some sort of work with that. We are also available to them to key into things that we have, the resource that is available. All our platforms are available to them. From the national here, every resource we have is available to everybody. Our biggest challenge is to reach children who do not have devices and who are the fringes of our, of our communities. And because they do not have that, that is why you see us pressing on with the Federal Radio Corporation and NTA as the last end to that. that. We already have programs running along those lines with adult education. We we'll just want to um, uh, distill some of that and make it available to primary and secondary. As you are aware, education is a concurrent matter on our constitution, and therefore uh, we can't unilaterally impose a uh, certain level of uh, education participation on states. There must be some sort of buy-in. So um, we've made all the platforms available. We are meeting with suburbs regularly. We are providing financing. We are providing all the kind of, through the suburbs that we already have, so that they can then do what they think is best at their states. All of that is available. We are also looking at what is required at the level of um, uh, uh, tertiary education. Most private universities already have um, some sort of online platforms with which they learn. Uh, we are also making resources available and we're assisting them. 
Uh, I'm all re really going to be great. I'm going to express our thanks to all the participants because everybody has offered us support from um, uh, content providers to online networking agents to platform providers, MTN, uh, Glow, uh, Nine Mobile, Airtel. Everybody is throwing whatever they have at us. We are willing to absorb all of that and make it available to anybody, any kind of. Uh, limitation that you're facing from your end. It is our work to address that. We are here to serve. Everything that is available to us is available to you. If you have any new things you would like to explore that is unique to what you're doing and how it can better serve, we are available to do that. All the ICT directorate is available. The, if you go to uh, ministryofeducation.gov, you will access all the materials that are available to us and what you will need in respect of each of them. Um, I would like to also say uh, that we are also you know, willing to work with any platform that can deliver the content we already have. Uh, at our level now at the Ministry of Education, we want to unify and help everybody at, come to per. We are a little bit worried that um, with the um, idea that people may not be available to go to school, how do we then reach each person? Because devices alone don't teach, and devices alone don't get you to learn. So we need the cooperation of parents. I understand parents are already inundated with uh, being asked to do this or do that. But while we are broadcasting, we cannot also monitor how your child uh, is at, whether he's attentive or not. Kindly make them available to learn at the hours because they are scheduled time frame, times. And if you go to our website, you can see in every state what the timing is for them in Ogun State, in the, or your state, in Kano, whatever, and what broadcast channel is available for that. I also have heard that there's been some concern with the closure of the National Open University's portal. Yes, um, you know there's been a lockdown, so I'm sure as soon as uh, they can, they will get on to allowing more people pay on it. We understand the, the constraint, and as soon as um, we can get some people on it, they can open it up further. At the tertiary, uh, our tertiary univers uh, universities and polytechnics, and they will also have to wait until when the federal government has this agreed on when people can move around for them to actually return to their schools. The same reason we ask them to disband or go back to their homes is uh, the same reason why they need to keep away until we are sure that uh, there's some sort of um, traction to what we are doing. Um, that is, for now, where we stand. We think students who are at home should log on to all the education materials that we have made available. If there are none for your field of study, because there are some practicals we can't do, engineering, some of them are not available at the level, you will have to lie with your school to then say, this is what our course content for the period under the syllable review or your curriculum or the core content that is available for now is not adequate for what I'm doing, and then they can review how you can participate. You've also heard that the, we are participating in all the research work that is ongoing, coordinated at Ted Fund by the ES there and uh, the Permanent Secretary. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, 